What's going on YouTube? Rob A again, and uh, this is just kind of a quick update video. Um, I finished painting my uh, Nerf rough cut, and I just wanted to show it to you guys. This is what it looks like now. Um, I'll put a picture of how it looked when I got it out of the package in the uh, beginning of the video. Um, yeah, not, not my best work, but I like it. I think it came out pretty cool. Um, I really liked this design. Uh, I like how it feels. I like the weight of it. Um, it still works. It still fires just fine. All the internals are still intact. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Not a whole heck of a lot else to talk about. Um, just did a, a matte black. See, here's the deal. Um, I used a flat black, but it wasn't... Uh, when I when I uh, paint something in flat black, like something this large, I'm gonna use like just a regular can of spray paint. Um, and to do that, I'm just gonna use cheapo store brand, like a dollar a can, uh, flat black, because that actually works the best. I ended up running out of that and using um, like Rust-Oleum or something like that. And it said flat black, but it is it is obviously you can see right here it is like semi gloss. Um, and it was, it got runny and all kinds of stuff. I had so many problems with it. Um, wh when I do, when I do Nerf guns, I like it flat, flat, flat black. Um, and for that I use the Cheapo brand store spray. Um, but this came out okay. I, I may actually end up buying another one just to redo, uh, redo it. Um, but it's not terrible. There's some spots that I missed. Um, but, uh. Also, the weather was not not very forgiving uh, this time around. It's just been raining and terrible and yucky. So um, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys that really quick. See the other side looks a lot like the that side. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.